Hey friends, this is Andy and this is a hidden veggie mac and cheese recipe. You will need some milk, I'm using oat milk, some frozen butternut squash, some elbow pasta, some shredded cheese, carrots, some cauliflower, and a little bit of cream cheese. So step one is to boil your water, adding a little bit of salt. And while that's happening, you're going to boil the carrots, the frozen squash, and the cauliflower. So I just am adding two cups of water to the pot. You don't need to overflow this, and you're just going to bring that to a boil. Once this pot is boiling, you can add three cups of elbow pasta to it, and you can cook the pasta. So that has been cooking for a bit, so the pasta is ready to go. So I'm just draining the water from the pasta. And then I'm actually just going to add it back to that pot because we're going to mix everything together in a minute once the sauce is made. So just emptying as much water as I can and then just dumping this back into the pot. And while I'm cooking the sauce, I'm actually just gonna put the lid on this pot to keep the pasta nice and warm. All right, so these have been cooking for a little bit and you can check the doneness by just poking the carrots with a fork if they, they're softer, same with the cauliflower. Then you can add them to a strainer and remove any excess water and then you're going to add this to a blender and if you want you can add the milk straight here and then turn on the blender and this will puree the vegetables into a creamy consistency so I ended up trying this without the milk and then I decided to add the one cup of milk straight to the blender and it made it so much easier. So go ahead and add the milk to the blender and then once that's finished you can add that right back to the pot. Along with the cream cheese and the shredded cheddar cheese. So then you can bring the pot to a boil again and that will have the cheese start to melt. As it's melting, you wanna make sure that you're stirring it so that the bottom isn't cooking too much. So you wanna stir frequently and start to break up the cream cheese as you go. And then once everything has melted down and has a nice consistency, you can pour that right into the pot of drained pasta. So there's that lid keeping the pasta warm. Now I'm just going to pour the sauce right in there and then mix everything together. It's looking pretty good to me. So I am ready to serve and dish it onto some plates. So you can eat this right away and you can serve it with your favorite toppings, whatever you prefer to have with your mac and cheese. I am just going to season mine with some salt and pepper and keep it simple. Anything left over you want to let cool completely before storing in the fridge in an airtight container. So I'm just seasoning, my, seasoning mine with some salt, that sea salt there that I have in that container, and some ground pepper.
For more family-friendly recipes, visit my website at andyann.com.